at the Telegraph Dream Cruise and we're at Motor City Solutions which is on Breast Road and Telegraph and Taylor and we're gonna walk over there the, I'm not gonna park in there I don't want to get blocked in hopefully I don't get blocked in here anyway let's uh, walk over and take a look at what's around Justice. Except that car has a roof on it and some doors. some really interesting stuff here. Remember when Michigan used those as state police cars? Boy, does that date me, doesn't it? Let's just take a quick walk around here. Look at what's here. I'm going to say that's a 348, not a 409. This 
thing's sweet. Very simple, very sweet. From some of my viewers pointed out, so this is a 50. My dad had a 51, that's almost where I was born, and it had chrome there. Door handles and gas cap are different on the 49 and 50. So we'll say this is a 50. Ooh, look at that. Ninety six pop in there. Fifty nine thousand miles. Wow, <laughs> there's a ton of cars here. Sweet. I love flatheads, even built ones. Love the old flathead speed equipment. There's just more cars here than you can shake a stick at. How often do you see these? Super cool. Look at this grill. Love your barbecue there. Thank you. <laughs> propane, the tank's back behind that. Okay. Interesting. It cooks real good. I love it. <laughs> That's out of a mid 30 Chevy steering wheel. Made a table out of it. steering column. Your tail lights. <laughs> that, uh, Camaro bumper. Oh, yeah. That is sweet. <laughs> the tail lights on the, on the car. Uh huh. The, the stainless is cat food bowls. Okay. And then the headlights are the dog food bowls recessed with the LED lights in the car. I'm going to have to go take a look at them. So these are dog food dishes reversed with the LED lights and the tail lights have and these have cat food dishes. What a sweet setup for the cruises. <laughs> I guess I could have parked in here and I wouldn't have got blacked in. Showed 65,000 on the clock. Boy, good luck finding another one. back up the aisle and then we'll see where else are some neat old cars.
69 maybe. Check this out. Sixty-six Chevy Dash. Yeah. Wow, this thing looks unrestored. Shows 46,000 miles on the odometer. Yeah, that's definitely unrestored. No ends, its, or buts about it. It's a little tighter than the 302 my mom had in her Mustang. She had factory air too. She had a 76 gear. This is definitely unrestored also. 67? Yeah, I'm going to say 67 because it doesn't have the marker lights. I had a 69. That thing shoots flames for three feet out of those pipes. Music playing there, so that 
That's definitely unrestored. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's go check some other things out around the area and see if there's anything else worth pulling it into looking at. This was absolutely worth it. This thing's awesome. I was talking to the guy about you should get a second one with a roof cut off. He said if he finds one, he might do it. Cut the roof off, take the door off, put it in the back seat. All right, let's go see what else is out there. Let's pull up into another parking area, see what's around here. We'll do, you know, I'm gonna take quick walk arounds because there's so many cars. I might just, you know, go on something I find interesting, but I, you know, when I make videos, I kind of make things I like. I do like that Ford pickup, but I'm not going over there right now. Yeah, I think most of the cars are parked or the cars that are on the road are looking for a place to park. This goes from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I think we're in, I don't know, I think we're in Taylor. speed in this one. I don't know what's all out on the road. Yeah, like Woodward, just too much everyday stuff on the road right now. It's a kind of park, walk around and look at cars along the stretch, and then in the after dark, it'll probably be, you know, more madness. Something tells me this doesn't have a 235 in it anymore. You can walk in front, doesn't matter. Well, let's go see what else we can find out here today. Another parking lot. This will probably be the last one I pull into. 
take a walk around. I want to look at this 58 right here. It's either a Bel Air or Biscayne or Delray or it's not an Impala. This came. Walk around and look at some of the other cars. There's quite a few. This this lot goes a long ways down that way, a long ways down this way. Love the paint job on that Monte Carlo. Don't see many Fairmonts around anymore. Let alone a two door. These actually came with a V8 from the factory and they're actually pretty quick with the V8. Most of them had a 2.3 or a 200 inline 6. Alright, let's walk down further down there and see what's down there. car was making a lot of noise and not going anywhere. That's the problem with some of these this new stuff that it just makes a lot of noise. Four on the floor, 409, factory tack. Sixty-three Bel Air. Looks like it even has the factory six inch wide wheels on it. What a beauty. Love it. Absolutely love these big old Lincolns. I love this car. I don't think it has a 
original flathead engine in it anymore from the looks it's a bit of a custom but it's absolutely beautiful Like going to Home Depot and just seeing a bunch of old cars, is there? Yeah, yeah. Alright, I think I'm gonna go cruise a little bit and then head home and edit up you guys a video. That's it for this video. I did make a video of fixing the leaky heater hose on the car from the last cruise and I'll put that up in a video after this one maybe. But anyway that was uh, the midday telegraph cruise. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon now so I suspect by seven eight o'clock it'll be pretty crazy um but it was bumper to bumper when i left and just you know because it was getting hot outside and just kind of saw everything that there was to see videoed some parking lots there which you saw anyway that's it for this video if you liked it definitely hit the like button if you like my channel that 348 engine icon pops up there will subscribe you and thank you for watching my video